Hello and welcome back to my channel, Family Tech. I am Sarah and I break down all of the technology that you have in your home so you can help understand and manage your family's technology. So definitely give me a subscribe, like this video, that really helps me out and I can keep making videos like this to help your family out. So today's topic, we are breaking down, reviewing the Trumi phone. So uh, we'll get right into it. Hello friends, I'm Sarah Kimmel, your friendly neighborhood tech expert. You can find me helping families with tech problems on TV news, podcasts, Instagram, Facebook, and my website, familytechzone.com. All right, welcome back. So let's get into the Trumi phone. So what is the Trumi phone? So this is the phone and it's actually a Samsung A32. They actually offer two different models, the A12 and the A32. I'll get into what the differences are between the two, but what Trumi is, is a kids safe smartphone. I've actually reviewed two other kids safe smartphones on this channel, so definitely check out that video. But this one is specifically about the Trumi. It is brand new to the market and I just got my hands on it, so I wanted to let you guys know exactly what kind of features it has, where my pros are, where the cons are, and all of the things. So a kids safe smartphone, meaning it's going to have very curated apps that you can install. It will have no social media, access, um, very limited browser access, so you can feel safe giving this to your kids. Um, I'm going to break down a few of the things, but I do have a discount code. Check out the description of the video if you do end up wanting to purchase this phone. So I, as I mentioned, Trumi has two different phone options. It has the Samsung A12 and the Samsung A32. The big difference between the A12 and the A32 is going to be more space and a better camera. That's really the only two differences. So if it's a very young child, they're not going to use a lot of space on the phone. Um, they're not gonna be taking amazing pictures or anything like that. Um, the A12 is going to be a great option for them. Uh, if your child is a little bit older, ready to kind of graduate into a better smartphone, uh, the A32 is the good option there. So there are three different plans. So unlike uh, Pinwheel, which I reviewed earlier, Pinwheel, you can be carrier agnostic. You can add it to your Verizon plan. You can add it to your T-Mobile plan, things like that. With Trumi, it's its own carrier. So it uses the backbone of an AT&T network, but it is its own carrier. So you pay Trumi for the service and for the device operating system. So like I said, with Pinwheel, you have two different fees. You have the fee to Pinwheel and you have the fee to the carrier. This one, it's all kind of rolled into one. They have three different plan options. The first plan is $15 a month. It is only talk and text. So you can only talk and text, but where it's better, I feel, than say Gab, you can limit who can contact the phone and you can limit who can text. So that's a really good benefit, but the $15 a month plan is just talk and text. The $20 a month plan is talk, text, plus photo messages and group messages. Those are transmitted over MMS, multimedia, so it requires a little bit more. And so that's why if you want to add group messages and photo messages, then you would be on the $20 a month plan. The $25 a month plan opens you up for different apps. So these are gonna be the KidSafe apps. There are some apps that come with the $15 a month plan and the $20 a month plan, like a calculator and things like that. So you know, you're know you not gonna be losing out on some of those with those lower plans, but if you wanna open up some additional apps, you'll be on the $25 a month plan. So here are some of the pros that I really liked about the Trumi phone. First is that it has a web browser, but the web browser is limited to a safe list only. So any website that you want your child to be able to access, you have to manually enter and allow that website. I love this about the Trumi because 
other phones, they have ways around kind of the limitations that are on the device. So if they open up a web browser, they can get to any of these other websites. But here, if they open up a web browser, either through you know the privacy policy on the phone or things like that, then they are still limited to the applications and the websites that you have allowed. So I really liked that about the Trumi phone. Um, what is also great about that is because a lot of times in the classrooms, uh, the teachers will have them go to a website, do some voting on the phone, but you can allow those specific websites without giving them access to the whole of the internet. So I really liked that about the Trumi phone. I also like that it has apps that you can download. And again, it's a very, very curated list of apps. It's very small. Um, I will go through exactly what's on the list in my whole breakdown of the parent portal, but uh, I love that you can open up apps that you want and you can set time limits on those various apps. So I really like that about the Trumi phone as well. Another complaint I've seen from other phones is it's very hard to find cases for them. This is just a Samsung A32 or a Samsung A12. You can find cases for them all over Amazon for very cheap. So you can get really personalized and customized with your cases because it is not such a proprietary phone that you can't find cases for it anywhere. So I really like that it has its own, um, you can buy cases from them, but there's cases all over Amazon. So you can just go there and find a case as well. So here are the cons for the Trumi phone. Uh, the first one is that it does not have text monitoring. This one's a big deal for me. So um, it could be a deal breaker for this phone if I wanted to give it to my child. So they did say to me that monitoring is coming. Uh, I'm gonna say it's probably a couple months out from the date of this review, so check the date. If it's been a couple months since this review came out, maybe go check it out, see if monitoring has been added. I'll try and update the description when monitoring does get added, but for right now, there is no monitoring of messages inside the phone. So if they send a message when they're outside of the house and they delete it, you would never know that message came through. You would never know that message was sent. So that is a huge limitation. Again, that would be a deal breaker for me. Uh, but if that's not as important to you, then this is a great option. But like I said, it is coming. So maybe you do want to just get this phone now and then, um, you know, maybe wait to give it to your child until the monitoring is coming or manually monitor for a little while until they get it into place. Now, this is just um, a issue that I ran into. So again, I think this is because the device is very, very new. Um, they don't, they haven't run into all of these different use cases, but my child's Google account that I share our Google calendar with and everything like that is managed from Google Family Link. And I was trying to add it to the Trumi phone and I couldn't because Google Family Link is not one of the approved apps and you need Google Family Link on the phone in order to get that handled. So uh, that's one little kind of hurdle that they're probably going to need to fix because I need this to be able to show the real Google Calendar for my child and my child's account is monitored through Google Family Link. So, you know, if they have a Chromebook or things like that, they're probably already monitored or managed through Google Family Link. And so right now I was not able to add that account to the phone. So that's a problem that I've run into. Um, hopefully they get that one resolved very quickly, but that is another con to the Trumi device. And then one thing where Pinwheel kind of excels, and I will probably do a full comparison between Trumi and Pinwheel, just like I did with the uh, Pinwheel to Gab, but um, one con for Trumi, a plus for the Pinwheel, is that there are app timeframes. So with Pinwheel, you can get very granular as to what type of apps you allow during specific timeframes, and you can set up multiple timeframes. You can't quite do that with the Trumi. You either can give the app a time limit, you can tell what um, timeframe 
that can be accessed in, but you can't have multiple time limits or time frames that you can allow the app. So I like to allow a music app while my child is at bedtime, but I want to lock everything else out at bedtime. And so I wouldn't be able to really do that with the Trumi phone, but I can do that with something like Pinwheel. So let's go ahead and jump into the parent portal. I want to show you everything that you can set up for this Trumi phone. So let's get into that right now. This is the Trumi parent portal. You can access this from your phone web browser by just going to parent.trumi.com and this will pull up after you log in. You can see this is the GPS. It will show you exactly where your child is. You can also see if the device is enabled and set a daily screen time limit. So this is how much time is available for the entire day on there. Uh, you can see how much time is remaining, how much time was spent yesterday, and their most used app and today's total app time. So this is all just kind of right on the home screen. You can see if I go over here to settings, let's go to web settings. You can turn on or off the ability to access a web browser. So if you turn it on and you enable weekday limits, you can say that the browser is available from this time to this time. You can enable weekend limits that are different. And here's where you select the browser. So if you select this Chrome browser, it's going to be unrestricted. There will be no filtering. It will not have the safe list. If you select this, it's going to be the Kids Smart browser. It's going to have the safe list. And here's where you can manage the safe list websites. So you type in the selected URL. Obviously, you want to be able to go to familytechzone.com and you can add any URL that you want listed here. You can also toggle on and off the ability to access apps. So if you toggle it off, they're going to not have the ability to access any of these apps, but with it on, you can enable any of these kids smart apps. So you can see all the different apps that are currently available for the device. And then you can also see what the basic apps are. So you can turn on and off any of these basic apps. So if you don't want them to have maps or a calculator or access to my files, you can turn off those in this location here. And then you can see what apps are coming soon. So these are the apps that are in the works currently. They are not available yet but these are coming to the device very soon. So here's where you can check out the text messaging. You can allow text messaging on or off, image and group messages on or off, and set time limits for the texting. Again, just like with the browser, you can either select the safe messenger or you can go to Android Messenger, which will have unrestricted access to send and receive texts from anyone. So this is where you would turn that off. So in the future, if you want to open it up a little bit more, you can toggle on the Android Messenger, uh, or if you want to just keep it to the safe messenger, you can select that one. Here's where you would manage contacts. So you can type in um, any contact that you want, Here's the permissions that that contact has. So they have permissions to text, image, and group message, and call Michael. That is all that is allowed. You can also put in some emergency contacts that are available. So you can put in your local family doctor, uh, babysitter, childcare, any of these emergency contacts can also be included in the contacts. I've already gone over these apps and then your contact or er and then just the account information. So there you have it. That is everything to know about the Trumi phone. Definitely if you want to buy that 
check out the description. My code is family tech. So if you want to save $50 on your device, go ahead and enter that code family tech, or just click the link in the description and you can save $50 on your new Trumi device. So like I said, there are some cons, weigh those with what you want for your children and see if this is the right device for you. So definitely go ahead and subscribe. Like I said, I do tech tips every Thursday, but throughout the week sometimes I will put out product reviews for specific products that you can use to help understand and manage the technology in your home. So subscribe, definitely hit me up on Instagram. I answer my direct messages on Instagram. So at family tech is who I am on all social media platforms and we will see you next time.